Welcome back. We're exploring April's room. So far we got a toy monkey out of the closet. Let's look at this picture. It's a picture of me and my friends. Can we look at that? It's a picture of Charlie, Emma, and me in Florence Park. Marcus took it about a month ago, before it got real hot. Apparently, uh... not. No, I don't need to use that. That's my desk, so, theoretically, that's where I'm supposed to do my work. I think my muse has departed me for greener pastures, though, because lately, inspiration's been fleeting at best. I know what that feels like. Shelves. Can't argue with that. It's just a chair. Can't argue with that either. And she's insightful. I'm part of the should be reading more but life's too short generation. We embrace our illiteracy. The last book I read was How to Seduce the Man of Your Dreams. Now, if I can just find a man to dream about, I'll be all set. That's my work. It's supposed to be a portrait of my life study teacher, but I think he might disagree. Okay, so she's definitely a painter. That fan is supposed to keep the room nice and cool in the summer. Sure. Yeah. It's at least, oh, one quarter of a degree cooler in here when it's on. I just love how sarcastic she is. Well, here's a, a diary, which I've been... Uh, Conspicuously leaving until last. My on again, off again diary. We've had a turbulent relationship, her and I. Dear diary, note to self. Dreams of talking trees and dragons aside, it's still no excuse for talking to inanimate matter in the real world. So quit it. Okay, well, let's pick up the diary. Now, uh, now that we have this diary, actually, we can go into Options, and here we can read it. Throughout the game, entries will get added to the diary whenever something important happens. But there's already some entries uh, in here, so I'm going to read those now. April 14th, 2209. Friday. Well, now we know when this game is set. Apparently it's the early 21st century. And I checked April 14th, 2209 is actually a Friday, so they got that right. And it's apparently uh, April's birthday, judging by the first line. So now we know why she's called April. Anyway, let's read. Happy birthday to me, the big 1-8. Join us, right? Well, not to sound like a complete spoil sport, but it feels kind of like 17. Only I can buy a gun and pilot a hovercraft. I kind of figured that the number 18 would cast light into the deep, dark chasm of my soul and reveal some grand truth about the universe. Like the meaning of life, or at least some explanation as to why all guys are complete idiots. But no. Nothing. I'm the same person today that I was yesterday. No different. Same old boring April. Stuck in the same old boring life. Which of course does make me realize something important. I just have to get out of here soon. I have to leave. There's nothing here for me, no future, and a past I'd prefer to forget. And I know where I want to go. The Venice Academy of the Visual Arts in Newport. God knows if they'll accept me into their fall program, but I have to try. Sarah went out there last year, and she's agreed to let me stay at her place for a short while, until I can get a job and an apartment. Writing about leaving is both scary and exciting. It's scary because I've never really been on my own before, and I've never been to Newport. And of course I'm scared that good old daddy will find out and force me to stay. Not that he can, but he will certainly try. On the other hand, it's really exciting too. I can't imagine anything that beats starting my own life in a place like Venice. From what I've seen and heard, it looks great. There are lots of little cafes and crisscrossing canals, just like in the real Venice in Italy. And most of the people who live there are young and creative, and not afraid to look or sound or be different. Which will make a nice change from this place. April 22nd. 
Today I called the academy and asked them about their admission requirements, and they told me to bring some of my work in when you arrive. They don't really have any specific requirements, only that you're talented and dedicated and hard-working. The lady I spoke to sounded nice, but she didn't make any promises. She told me there are a lot of applicants and only a limited amount of spaces. I know my work's good, even though I haven't had much training. And I'm definitely dedicated and hard-working, so why am I still nervous? May 1st. I'm sorry I haven't kept up with events in this diary, but with, all, with my exams and everything, else going on right now before graduation, I haven't had the time. I know, I know, bad excuse. I'll just have to take time out to, and I'll definitely keep my diary up to date from now on. May 25th. Ah! Three weeks of complete silence! I look back at my previous diaries and I wonder where the hell did I find the time to write so much, so often? Oh well, I'll try to remember what's been going on these past few weeks. I passed all my exams with straight A's, of course, and tomorrow morning, I'm leaving home. Yes, I'm making the leap into the great unknown, and I'm never coming back here. I withdrew all my money from the bank, $2,190. And I've packed a suitcase and a bag with my clothes and work samples and books and everything else I can't do without. Unfortunately, I have to leave so much. My old toys, some of the bigger canvases, my screen. And it's not like I can have my mom ship them or anything. I'm leaving a letter from my family, but I'm not telling them where I'm going. 18 years under constant scrutiny is enough. I really don't want to carry any of that crap with me into my new life. Strangely enough, when I was packing this morning, I suddenly remembered something I'd forgotten a long time ago. When I was a kid, I kept all my drawings in a box under the floorboard so my dad wouldn't find them and berate, them for, berate me for was wasting my time. The box was right where I put it, more than six years ago. I didn't feel like looking at it at any of the drawings right away, so I wrapped the box up and stuck it in my bag. I'll open it when I get to Venice. I don't think this is the right time for nostalgic reminiscence about my childhood, but I'm glad I remembered to pack the box. So, tonight's the night. I'm sneaking out of here at 4am to catch the train to Greenville, and from there on to the big city itself, Newport. At dinner tonight I'll see Mom, Dad, Daniel and Owen for the last time in a long while. I don't really care if I ever see Dad again, but I feel sorry for Mom. She doesn't seem to care much for me, but I know she'll miss me, and I know she'll feel very guilty for turning a blind eye to the way he treated me throughout all those years. As for Danny and Owen? I don't really know. Danny's an asshole. He could theoretically improve, though I doubt he wants to. As for Owen? He's still a kid. He might turn out okay. But as long as Dad's in control, I'm not too optimistic. I'm going to, c to the pond tonight to say goodbye. I haven't been there in a long while, not since that crazy day. Well, I have to see it one last time, or I'll never get it out of my head. As for my friends, I don't really want to say anything. I'll mail them when I get to Newport, to Venice. So, this is the last entry I write here in this house, in this room. In some strange way I can't really understand, I'll miss it. Not much, but I did grow up here. I did spend 18 years, oh my god, in this place. And that's not soon forgotten or ignored. I don't want to feel bad for what I'm doing, but I can't help it. I do feel bad, a little. But more than anything, I'm excited about what tomorrow will bring. I think, yeah, I believe I might actually be happy. Imagine that. Friday, July 28, 2209. This is uh, today, actually. We leap forward to the present day now. Way too early in the morning. And I won't even try to describe the dream I had last night. Like, enough with the fairy tales already. I need to start dreaming about boys and shopping, you know, the important things in life. It's just dawned on me that the student exhibition opens in less than two weeks. My painting, and I mean that in the broadest sense of the word, is not even close to being presentable. Even that's an overstatement. All I have is a blank canvas, and while that may fool some people, like in, whoa, what an expressive statement of nothingness, it won't fool my teachers. So today I have to put in a solid six hours of work at the studio, and just hope that inspiration will strike me like lightning from the sky. It could happen. Well, that gave us a lot of uh, backstory. And it pretty much put it out of time, so I'll continue in the next video.